welcome to the NBS Show Review Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totera. Hello, Norman. I couldn't afford you anything this year, so I got you this box full of nothing. Oh, that's... Oh, man, Tara. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, always for the best, you know? <laughs> uh, and that was the joke that they set up for the whole episode. Yep, now people are going to be like, yeah, thanks for nothing. Ah. Oh, my God, but, like, the setup, like, oh, <laughs> there, there is something worth talking. Yes. But, anyway, um, Tara's back, so that's awesome. And in today's episode, we are going to review Pony Life Season 1, Episode 19. Don't look a gif horse in the mouth. And also, the root of it. Yeah, I never understand the title of the first one. Don't look at a gif horse in the mouth. Why gif or gif? Why can't it just be called gift? Because they want to be edgy and funny, you know? GIF, uh, graphic, something. Wow, I, I, it's been a while since. I, oh, uh, what's the gif stands for? Uh, there's a link. Here onto the Wikipedia page, graphic interchanging format. Yes, okay, good. I know, so they want to be oh, edgy. <laughs> well, I know there's that huge debate but, if it's like, oh, do you do you pronounce it as GIF or GIF? And it's like, no, it's a GIF. And some people say, no, it's GIF. Yeah, and the creator says it's GIF, and then people say, I do not accept your uh, reality. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, but anywho, anywho, in don't look uh, give horse in the mouth. Applejack gets inside Pixie's, uh, Pinkie Pie's head to figure out what to get her for her birthday. And in the root of it, Applejack tries to shake up her mundane day-to-day routine by getting a new haircut. Alrighty then, so uh, first impressions are in order. And Tara, what did you think? It had a lot of funny moments. Like, I, uh, like it was really enjoyable to watch because of the story and whatnot and with the setup and it's like you know when it happens like oh i wasn't expecting that and then this happens like okay you know this this is actually pretty nice and then like again you could i can't really say much of point life because it's everything happens so fast and short but all in all it was pretty funny to look at like this one was actually pretty funny and it had a lot of cameos and well not cameos but um um surprises yeah surprises and uh, the root of it? Same thing. It's like everything happened so fast. I love how um, Applejack's like, oh, we've been doing this so many times. It's like, okay, yeah. It's because she, she basically pretty much copies line for line. And then, again, it's just all happened so fast because it's so short. It's like you can't really explain much into it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And as for me, um, don't look gift horse in the mouth. It's one of those episodes that they're trying to get to the punchline and the punchline is really dumb it's a dumb punchline but the journey to the punchline makes the joke happen and in some way uh, it got me really laughing because it was so dumb that it's smart and it was kind of unexpected so yay, uh, points there, and in rule of it, it's one of those episodes where. What is the point? Yeah. <laughs> like, what what is the point of this episode? I mean, uh, I don't really complain much about, uh, morals or end goals or story, or whatever, it is, whatever it is. But at least, in this day and age, we are smarter. Like, we expect more from the show that we're watching even though if it's aimed at kids i recently saw a few episodes of my nephew's show uh dinosaur truck something and i feel like they had something going for it um even though if you're what a different species or type uh you can still be friends with another person blah 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 oh, I, mean, I know uh, what show you're talking about you you know yeah dino trucks uh, yes, I know truck. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> at least that one had there's some um, morals or whatever it is. And then like what, Palm Puppies, that has some too. Like th- the point is, if you have a show, try to have some kind of moral values. It doesn't have to be 
great. Like, uh, don't look at the gift horse in the mouth. That one was all about trying to get to the joke, which was dumb, but it was kind of smart in the way they play it off. And for this one, it felt, oh my goodness, uh, this is okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's one of those episodes. So, anywho, um, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Alrighty then. So, in uh, Don't Look a Gift Horse in the Mouth, we start off the episode with our girls in, Pink, uh, in Sugar Cube Corner setting up a birthday party for Pinkie Pie. And here is one of those ponies. Like, Pinkie's one of those ponies have that has everything that uh, she ever could want. And Pinky here is the best gift giver ever. Twilight, Applejack, and Rarity reminisce about how awesome uh, Pinky's skills are. Twilight remember that Pinkie Pie gave her a clipboard, which she really, really wanted. And then um, for Applejack, she gave him Sorry, she gave her a um, uh, what did you call this? Uh, Decorative band around her hat. Yeah, I think you, I guess you could call it a cow or a cowboy headband for the hat. Mm, all right, but anyway, uh, on top of that, you have Rarity getting her fainting couch. So yes, uh, Pinkie Pie is the awesomest at giving gifts. So. Applejack here is a bit worried because she got no idea what to give her. And Rarity uh, says that, oh, uh, what I would give Pinkie Pie is what I would want. And she says, oh, um, expensive necklaces, designer sunglasses, expensive china sets. And Applejack says, um, that's not really Pinkie's thing. And... Rarity just says, okay, so what? Uh, give her kitchen sink, light bulb, this fancy mirror. And all of those don't really work for her. So Applejack uh, decides like, okay, I, I need to find a way to find something that can give Pinky what she wants. And I have to get into her head. And you know that thing that we mentioned way back before about potions? This whole thing that was gimmick? So, yeah, I'm going to use a potion and get into her head. So I'm going to pause here. So what do you think, Tara? Like, what do you think of the setup and all? Well, I like how... um, <clears throat> I, I like the setup, how they're like, Oh, Pinky has everything, and yet she's so good at giving us gifts. What are we going to give for her? And then Rarity's like, let's give her all these fancy things. And it's like, she's not going to like that. It's like, fine, we'll give her this, this, and this mirror. And Applejack's like, uh, that's a toaster. <laughs> yeah, th th there's a joke that I left out purposely. <laughs> the, the one thing, like, I, I know they never cross um, Pony Life with Gen 4 and whatnot, but it's like, they could have at least referenced how it's like, um, remember when Piggy was huge and she had Discord's magic? You sure you want to go inside her mm -hmm. head? <laughs> oh, yeah. Th that was what I was thinking, too. And we we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah. But it, it was f like for what uh, it's been right now, it's uh, pretty good so far. Can't really say much without going into full details. True, true. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the setup is everything. Uh, the setup is okay. Nothing too fancy. So we have our problem. Applejack wants wants to find a perfect gift for Pinky. So anyway, let's hop right into it. So uh, Applejack does a bit of espionage by um, sneaking around and getting a piece of rare uh, Pinkie Pie's mane and putting it in the potion, shaking it and drinking it. Ew, much ew. You so much you. It's nasty. Yep. So after drinking it, Applejack somehow gets teleported, or at least her mind is uh, teleported to Pinky's mind, and it's empty. It's a barren wasteland. Like there is nothing there. And uh, Applejack walks up to Pinky and says, "Like, hello, Pinky." Uh, how are you? And why is it so empty here? Like, there's nothing. 
And this version of Pinkie Pie is very chill, very mellow. Uh, she's relaxing, reading a book. And Pinkie Pie says just like, uh, I know why you're here. And you won't find the answer asking me. The gift is a two-way thing. It's uh, what you give to me and what I'm receiving from you. And somehow she made it sound smart. Like, oh my goodness, that that is deep. And Applejack agrees to that too. And once Applejack realized what she wants to give to Pinky, the rest of the girls kind of think like, oh, um, I don't think she might get this. Like, hmm, mm, this is high concept. Okay. But anywho, uh, we start off with a party and we do a, a, a remix song for the uh, party and whatnot, like the intro song, they remix it and whatnot. And then we get to the gift giving. So Pinkie Pie uh, opens up Applejack's gift and she discovers it's nothing. And Pinkie says, oh, thanks Applejack uh, for giving me nothing. Um, uh, for a, a pony that has everything, that she has nothing that she wants. And uh, thanks for nothing Applejack. And everybody hugs it out and we have a good laugh. And if the episode ends... And then Gummy tries to do an attempted murder. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Uh, that's, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, um, that, that that is very interesting. I have to say, yeah, that, that is somehow interesting. So, uh, um, what, what do you have, City Era? Well, this, this episode was pretty good. Like, it had a, it had a good lesson about how it's like... Like, I don't know if this is the lesson they were trying to go for, but basically it's like, you know, you don't need no fancy gifts or anything huge. It's just, it's the thought that counts. Even if uh, you can't get a gift, as long as you're there for them, you know, that's all that matters. Uh, like, again, I don't know if that's the what they were trying to go for, but that's the way I see it. Yeah, yeah I can totally understand it. I can totally dig it. And yeah, I, that is also true. It's the, what you call this, it's the thought that counts and i'm <laughs> i'm not sure if this episode is smart to do it that way or if it's just <laughs> how to put it like i'm not 100 sure if the show was thinking about that like the thoughts that counts or if they were just going for the joke yeah they could they could have also been going for the joke you know like thanks for nothing and whatnot <laughs> yeah I, I know it was kind of smart kind of funny but at the same time, too, I'm just thinking like, aha, ah, uh, oh god, like really now, this this is what you were, oh god, all right, all right, okay, okay, uh, what whatever, we we'll just accept it, we'll just accept it. So anywho, let's carry on to the next one, and the next one is the root of it. Yes. So we start off the episode with our girls in Sugar Cube Corner doing their, you know, just doing their thing. And Applejack is a bit cranky. She's a cranky pony. And she says that, ah, oh man, uh, guys, I, I am feeling, I am not feeling it. Like, aren't you guys bored? Aren't you guys uh, want something new and exciting like stuff? She asks Pinkie Pie what she wants to do. And Applejack mimics Pinkie Pie 100%, uh, point by point. And meaning that this is not the first time that she says that. And yeah, Applejack is just a bit bored with the whole thing. So she tries, uh, or she just asks, like, what do you girls want to do? I mean, come on, like, you girls want to do something. And uh, Twilight says, I want to be in the Matrix with Keanu Reeves. Whoa. And everybody says, yeah, another great idea after Cyberpunk. Nope, nope. And well, what happened with that? Oh, did you not hear Cyberpunk was bad? No, I didn't hear. Or the initial launch, it was bad. Riddle with bugs. Oh, wait, now I remember, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, anywho. Uh, Rainbow Dash says, oh, you want to go skydiving? 
And Applejack says, no, that's a bit too extreme. And Applejack says stuff and storms out. And the rest of the girls, or at least Rarity's case, don't really care that much. So yeah, uh, we, we follow Applejack walking. And then she discovers a main salon and decides to, you know, try something new. Get a main cut and dye her main and whatnot. I, I saw shaving, so it was a bit extreme until we get the result, which is kind of okay. I don't see where the shave is, but let's roll with it. <laughs> so I'm going to pause here. Tara, what do you think? Setup and reveal. <laughs> well, the setup, it's like, it's pretty much like the whole pony life thing. It's like, yeah, they always do the same thing every time. They always start off in this area and they always start off with, you know, making cake. So I feel like it's it's like behind the scenes, they probably went, guys, we're always doing the same thing over and over again. Let's put that in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but then, right. as for the the main cut, I was not expecting that. I do like the new look, and it's actually a nice look on her. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Like with on on Apple Jack, it works. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm gonna put an asterisk over there because there's something we need to reveal later on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on. So Apple Jack shows her main cut. And suddenly, every pony else has the main cut. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, that one I was not expecting when I saw that. <laughs> it's one of those things where... Mm, Rarity does says she kind of pioneered the look herself, so... Uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, Rainbow Dash says, after you storm out, we, we were inspired by what you said. And we kind of tried <coughs> to, well, break the mold and do our own thing. And somehow do our own thing means getting a new main style. Okay. And they have a joke where everybody's confused by who's who by miscalling Pony's name because uh, everybody has the same main cut. And I, I guess that's how you identify ponies in Equestria? Not by their um, fur tone, it's just by their mane, I guess. I find it a bit so It's like, really? You can't just look at the color? It's like, oh, okay. I mean, if you have Starlight and Twilight... <laughs> Yeah, I, that, that's the whole Amber joke there. But, <laughs> yeah, oh god. Yep, yep. But, anywho. <clears throat> so, the girls, or at least Pinky says, okay, uh, we, we've done our whole shtick, right? Okay, let's do a friends thing. Or chum, as Rarity calls it. And they mess around, hang around, and in the end, they just have fun and episode ends. And oh yo yo. So um I, I I guess it's to final thoughts. So yeah, uh, Tara, what do you think about the first one? Uh don't look a gift us in the mouth. It was pretty good. Like it had a nice lesson, I guess. Like I said before, how it's like, you know, it's not the uh, you don't need fancy diamonds or anything. It's the thought that counts. And again, even if you don't get a gift, as long as you're there for them, that's all that matters. Which, and it, it, it had a lot of funny moments too. Like when she was inside Pinky's mind, you think, you know, it's going to be crazy. It's like, no, nope, Pinky's calm, like a Zen master or something. It's like, you must clear your mind. <laughs> true, true. As for the root of it, I find it a bit meh, but it's like, cause it's like, you know, I guess it kind of also has a good lesson as well. It's like, you know, stop doing the same thing over and over again. Try, try doing something else or I don't know. Like I know some people, they'd be like so used to the same thing. Maybe they like that. Some people don't. The ending though, I, I do like how they ended off where it was basically like a reference to the show Friends, how they have the couch right behind the water fountain or right in front of the water fountain. And then it all just mm -hmm. moving around. It's like, yeah, this is a friend's reference. 
Yeah, that, that is also true. <laughs> so overall, uh, I, I guess it's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, um, for don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Like I mentioned before, the journey to the punchline was great. The punch life itself was a bit cringe. It's like, uh, thanks for nothing, Applejack. Like, uh, mm. it's dumb, but it's kind of funny. Yes, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. And you also can interpret it with, uh, is the thought that counts? Yes, that that's one of those hidden message. I guess if you can, if you can look at it that way. So that's good. And as for the root of it, it's. It's one of those things where I guess if your board try something new, um, a new hobby, uh, read a new book, do something that you don't usually do, get a new haircut and stuff. But the way that's set up in tool, and in the end, it doesn't even matter. It's kind of... <sighs> the message, I, I feel like the message is all over the place. I feel like they're not really giving it their all in terms of messaging. Because in the end, if if it doesn't matter, then why do it, right? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, to me, it just feels a bit off. But yeah, that's the end of the episode. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimensiongmail.com. You, could, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. Or they could just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. All right, all right, all right. Go check him out, guys. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stage radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrenuvalLive.com. Uh, uh, links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and, de- and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself like and also Tristan thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I am Torterra and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of MBS show see ya bye bye oh man like I, I don't know I mean I want to give silver a gift but I got no idea what to give but I also don't want to be boring so I should do something new and try nothing. I was like, didn't you give him the man time? Yes, I did. And I wonder if he opened it yet or not. Mm, we should mm. talk to him about it. Mm, that's true. <laughs> uh, explosion of man times. <laughs> Alright, today. Bye-bye.